Hello, I'm Christina and welcome to Kriska Yoga. It has been a while, I know. I have not been posting consistently on YouTube and that is terrible. So yeah, I have not been around very much or as much as I used to be here on YouTube. That will change, definitely. Yeah, I wanted to connect with you again here, possibly offer you something helpful. So I decided to reach out to you guys on Instagram and also on my stories on YouTube because now they have like stories like your Instagram stories but on YouTube so I did both um not a lot of people I guess know about the YouTube stories so I only got one question from there but I got a few more questions on Instagram and even via email and Facebook comments so I'm going to go through the questions that you guys asked me. I asked you if you had any questions about yoga, meditation, fitness, weight loss, whatever questions that you had and I am going to be answering those questions here. If you want to ask me any more questions feel free to leave them in the comments below this video. Follow me along on Instagram because I like to reach out to you and get feedback and connect with you on Instagram and Facebook. You can find me both places at Kriska Yoga. I've also been posting regularly with free yoga videos actually on Facebook far more often than I've been posting on YouTube. So if you want to check out those videos I've been posting for about six months on there definitely head over to Facebook and check that out as well. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll be back regularly very soon. I would love to have you as a part of this community. Don't forget to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any free upcoming yoga videos. So let's get started with this yoga Q&A. First question from Instagram. I'll go, I'm holding my phone with the questions on the phone. So if I look down, that's where I'm looking. First question I got from Instagram was, do you do other forms of exercise or just yoga? I do other forms of exercise. I have been running um, not as frequently as I was when I was training for the 10K back in November, but I do still try and run slash walk slash jog. Um, I also often uh, occasionally do some hit workouts. So HIT is high intensity interval training. I like the fact that it's fast and effective and you don't have to spend ages and ages getting your workout in for the day. And it's also really great for building up your cardio stamina, burning calories, I guess, things like that. I also used to dance. So before I was a yoga teacher, I was a dancer. So that was my main form of exercise. I've also tried things like kickboxing and um, I don't know if you can count this as fitness or exercise, but I've done a bit of archery. I don't know if that's exercise really. I mean, it was a bit hard on the arms. Um, anyway, I'm open to trying new things all the time. So yeah, I do other forms of exercise besides yoga as well. Next question is, what poses do you think should be done daily, especially on those days when time is limited? So I have done a video on this. I will link it below regarding yoga poses that you should be doing every single day. Um, it varies. It depends from person to person. There are tons of sequences on my channel where you can do yoga for just five minutes, yoga for 10 minutes. I have them, especially on Facebook. I do the four, the shorter sequences on Facebook. So you can follow along with those. Yoga po As for yoga poses that you should or should not be doing every day, it definitely is up to you. Um, you can always stick with the foundational poses of Tadasana, so standing up tall um, in mountain pose. I enjoy child's pose. It's very calming. It's also great for hip flexibility, hamstring flexibility, low back and glute flexibility. Downward facing dog is great for arm strength. It's great for hamstring flexibility. It's great to practice inversions, a gentle inversion. But yeah, if you're looking for specific poses that I think you should do every single day, I will link that video that I did down below. Next question comes from someone on Instagram and she asked me, how long after giving birth can I get back into yoga? I'm just a novice. First of all, if you ask me that question, congratulations on your new baby. In terms of how long you should wait to start practicing again after you give birth, 
Um, generally, I have heard, now I've never given birth myself, so I don't know from experience, but I have heard that you should wait about six to eight weeks postpartum, but you must, you must get cleared from your doctor to exercise. So before adding any, any type of yoga or exercise or fitness into your routine again, you need to get cleared by your doctor. Some people get cleared by a doctor and a physical therapist depending on their situation. So it is situational. You could have some issues that have come up during your labor, um, during your pregnancy, that you might have um, more restrictions than other people. So it really depends person by person. So I hope, I'm sorry I don't have a more definitive answer for you, but I highly suggest consulting your physician and getting cleared generally about six to eight weeks postpartum. Next question comes from Instagram and it is, can I fix my posture with yoga like permanently? I don't know what you mean by fix. Um, I don't know if you have a medical condition, but yoga can definitely help to improve your posture over time. Again, this would be a gradual improvement, so you would have to be practicing for quite some time and you'd have to learn about the proper alignment of your body and practice that every single time you practice yoga and every single day um, as you're even just sitting down or standing up, you should be practicing the proper alignment if this is something that you're working on personally. So I would say, in my personal opinion, probably yes, but it depends on the severity and what you're actually looking to correct or fix. As I said, it could likely improve your posture, but in terms of fixing or curing something that could be a severe medical issue, then I never ever will tell you, yes, yoga has this cure for that. Because as I've said in multiple videos before, yoga is not a magic pill. It is not a cure-all and all for disease or medical conditions. You need to work in conjunction with your physician and do what is right for you in your personal situation. All right, moving on to a YouTube question that I got. Ah, this one is quick. <laughs> YouTube question from Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine, thank you for your question. When did you start practicing yoga? I have discussed this a few times in previous videos, my yoga story, my yoga journey, uh, posted one on YouTube several years ago and one on Facebook more recently. I've been practicing yoga since about 2008. I started practicing regularly in a yoga for dancers class, so about 11 years now. Next, I'm going to go to my email. So the questions I got in my email, one of them is, can I do yoga for total fitness five days per week? So I would say that it depends. <laughs> and I know this is a reoccurring theme with me answering questions. It depends, it's situational, because there is no definitive <laughs> yes or no answer for a lot of these questions. I apologize, but I'm just being truthful. You can, for one, if you're physically able to, for two, uh, total fitness, I guess, would mean like all of the above strength, strength training, flexibility, um, building stamina, cardiovascular health, and along with that, something that a lot of people just neglect completely when they're thinking of fitness is activating the parasympathetic nervous system, which is just as important as activating the sympathetic nervous system. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say activating the parasympathetic nervous system, I'll link some videos in the description box where I describe how yoga activates the parasympathetic nervous system, what it is, and why it's so important. So I'll leave those links in the description box below to save some time. But yeah, that I guess would encompass total fitness. Yes, yoga can do that for you. There are different styles of yoga that you can achieve all of the above for cardiovascular so building up your heart rate working up a sweat burning calories I would say try styles such as vinyasa flow yoga power yoga things of that nature I would say avoid hot yoga I've done a video on that recently, why I never ever recommend hot yoga. Again, I'll try and link that in the description, the description box as well. In terms of stretching, great. There are obviously yoga is great for stretching and gaining flexibility. In terms of activating the parasympathetic nervous system, restorative yoga, yin yoga, are they're both great. Meditation, of course, is great for activating that parasympathetic nervous system, calming the body down. 
all of the above. So yes, it just depends, but I would say you would need to work with someone maybe if you're new and um, kind of design a plan or a schedule for you so that your yoga practice is well-rounded so you're getting the full total body or total fitness scope of things, if that makes sense. Another question that I got was, is yoga more tailored towards women? So I'm assuming that if it, that he's asking if it's tailored more towards women rather than men. The answer to that is no. Actually, yoga was originally created for men by men and women weren't even allowed to practice it. So now in the Western world especially, it is definitely practiced more often by women. But no, yoga is for everyone. Yoga can be practiced by all genders. Yeah, it's just, it's that's not true at all. So feel free to practice yoga. Definitely take it easy if you are a beginner. I actually have a yoga class specifically for men, uh, yoga for men. I, again, will link that in, I feel like I have said this 800 times in this video, but I will link that as well in the description box below. This class specifically works on kind of areas that men tend to be more uh, tight and inflexible in than rather than women. But again, that class, even though it says yoga for men, it can be practiced by anybody because yoga is for everybody. So yeah, I hope that helped to answer your questions. Thank you so much if you asked me questions. I really appreciate your the time that you took to reach out to me. I always love to connect with you. I, even though I have been missing quite a bit over the past month, um, I've been going through a lot and you will be updated if you care. <laughs> if you care, you will be updated soon. Just hang tight for that. Um, just a heads up here on YouTube, I probably will not be posting another yoga class until June. However, you can find yoga classes on Facebook from me, yoga videos, and I will hopefully be posting another video of this nature sometime soon on YouTube as well. It's just yoga classes for me cannot be filmed at the moment. I apologize for that, but they will be missing from YouTube until about mid-June. So please hang tight for those coming up soon. I also had plans. I don't know if you've seen. I don't know if many people have seen. I announced the yoga challenge over on my Facebook page that I was planning on doing in late April. And because of the same reasons why I cannot film yoga videos at this time, I was not able to do that yoga challenge at that time. So that will be coming up again very soon. June, likely in June, and so just hang tight. More yoga and more content is coming from me, but I need a little bit of time, so please hang tight. However, if you're looking to practice with me, I have over like, I think I have almost 400 videos here on YouTube that you can go back to and practice with. I've been, as I said before, I've been posting very regularly on Facebook for the past six months, so you can go to my Facebook page and practice over there as well. I also have my membership site where you can practice yoga with me ad, completely ad-free. They have full-length classes on there. I have two 30-day challenges on there, so if you wanna do a full 60 days of yoga with me every single day, you can do that uh, with those videos over on my membership site. You can try it out for free for two weeks, and after that, if you choose to stay on, it's a very small, the smallest, the lowest I could possibly make it. If you choose to support the channel in that way, that would be really appreciated, um, and you get a lot of extra yoga classes over there. So, and more to come again in June, as I said, more to come on here in June, more to come on Facebook in June and more to come on the membership site in June as well. So all the things coming up, Stay tuned, hang tight. I apologize for my absence or my kind of sporadic <laughs> uh, popping up here and there, not really in consist any consistent way. Um, but I appreciate you hanging in there as you always do. You're all so wonderful. And yeah, I will be updating you very soon. So stay tuned. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.